hopefully by now you've had a go at producing some of your own state machines based on the pattern I've shown here um, and I just want to add slightly more richness to this diagram. I've selected this lamp on um, transition um, but notice this term lamp on here is only a label it doesn't mean anything with the model, it's quite uh, mean anything to the model it's quite opaque in that sense, there's nothing which the model can do to check its integrity and so on um, and it doesn't imply any sort of action here um, this lamp on label could e equally be the name Rob Collins um, the first thing I want to do is to add here a, a an effect that is when you make this transition um, what the uh, what what the procedural code is that would run the result of that, and that can be done by selecting the transition, and then within the UML tab, uh, there's an effect box, and you can add an effect. There's a whole variety of things you can do here. For example, you can add further state machines, you can add activities, and so on. Um, I'm going to write an opaque behaviour. And actually, this is an opportunity to uh, introduce uh, code. You could write, um, you know, Java or C or any other code within here, and this would represent the code which is executed um, on that transition. So, uh, for this effect, I'm going to um, give it a name, um, and I, I'm going to admit I'm going to slightly cheat here now. I'm going to give this a name. Uh, that shows up on the diagram which sort of indicates the procedure I want to run um, but remembering again this is just a name what I'm trying to convey here is the notion that um, th this piece of code would be a low-level call to some low-level um, facility on the machine um, which would be the um, lamp on event it would actually send a um, you know a, a low-level signal actually switch um, some sort of interface on the on the physical device to switch the lamp on and I put that in the name although that's quite opaque um, what you could do is within this language box here select a a language and you could actually put code in in C, C++, Java, natural language, whatever, OCL. Um, you could put a you know detailed description here if I add natural language and you can put a full description within that box. Um, so I mean I, I've taken a shortcut by just giving putting this in the name but you could equally, equally well be writing um, Java code in that box which would link your the, uh, the code your, ex your, your code which you wanted to compile and execute with these structured models um, one of the reasons I chose the name here because it does just make it rather nice and visible at this level that what I'm what I'm trying to do in that transition is when you make that transition send a low level signal to the um, the electronics in the system to actually do the same thing um, what you should do now is make the same addition to the lamp off transition I want to complete this section by just giving a quick walkthrough of the state machine diagram for the timer. This is the most complex of the state machines, but uh, as state machines go, it's still relatively simple. There are only two states. Uh, the first is the inactive state when the uh, timer and, and hence the microwave and the motor are, are not doing anything. And the timing state uh, in, w in which the clock is uh, ticking down. This uh, state machine receives uh, a tick events from an internal clock, um, and every time that happens, um, an internal counter is is decremented. So I ought to just add that to this um, tick event.
as previously, just to make it explicit on this diagram, I've set the name um, to represent the thing which we're talking about. Um, in practice, you would use the that uh, uh, dialog box um, and add the code in Java or C or um, natural language or indeed the language we're going to choose, which is Ada. So um, you should also have a go then now at um, replicating um, this um, state machine. Um, you'll notice that this state machine has the key piece of logic which is um, whilst the timer is timing if any time the door opens then the microwave enters the safe state which is inactive um, and of course the same happens if somebody hits the stop key. Um, in both of these cases um, the state machine here should send a low level um, event to the board support unit to actually switch off the um, the microwave cavity and you can add those um, in an analogous way to the way that I've done it for the lamp. So that's about as far as I'm going to go with this model. Your task now is to uh, first of all review the whole model um, make sure you understand how the different parts work uh, practice adding um, new state machines, new sequence diagrams. You may care to add new parts of the structure as well if you think there, you know, you'd like to add uh, further elements uh, and add richness around these state machines. Uh, but for now, that's it. We're done.